Hi everyone, I'm Dash, and today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to bring sophisticated apps and dedicated solutions to my data with Snowflake Native Apps and use relational AI's app to transform our customer data into a rich social graph and resolve negative social sentiments in minutes. Recently, a Tasty Bite food truck service incident caused negative social sentiments online. We know the affected customers, but need to identify their friends to offer promotions and retain their businesses. Traditionally, this process could take hours or days. With relational AI's Snowflake native app running directly against our data in Snowflake, we can resolve that in minutes. Let me show you how. Let's go. So with relational AI's Snowflake native app, I can build a knowledge graph in my Snowflake account. And I can also use the ID of my choice, which is Visual Studio Code. This is where I can also use Snowflake's extension as well as Relational AI's extension. So everything I need is right here, which is pretty awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and run this first cell. Now, what I'm doing here is importing all the libraries, including Relational AI, and I'm also defining our data model. This is gonna take a few seconds, so let me show you what the raw data looks like right here from Visual Studio Code. There you go. We've got order details, truck details, and everything we need to know to build the knowledge graph. Let's go back to my notebook. Close this. Before I move on, I wanna address a couple of things. The model in this context is a model referencing the data we just looked at in my Snowflake account. And because of the tight integration between Snowflake and relational AI, I can refer to my data just by fully qualifying the table right here. Here we are also querying our model with this code, and that's what's giving us the number of transactions to work with, which is 1.6 million and uh, a few thousand more. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and see what else we have going on down below. Okay, so to construct the knowledge graph, we'll first start by defining the nodes and other types. For example, customers, trucks, and transactions. In doing so, the data model maps the link between food trucks that each customer visits. Once we have that, we'll be able to apply additional business rules to identify our list of impacted circle of friends. All right, what else? We're also defining groups of customers who have placed orders at the same food truck within a 20 minute window, right here. But of course, just because I bought something right after someone doesn't actually mean that I know them or can do much to impact their future purchases. So let's talk about the next business rule we want to apply. To focus only on what could be groups of coworkers or friends, we want to strengthen our network links by focusing only on groups of customers that have purchases within the 20 minute window on multiple days, which in our case is at least five days at the same food truck. This would be our best signal to know that two customers are likely to grab a bite together on multiple occasions. Okay, there we go. So we have about total transactions between two customers at the same food truck within the same 20 minute window count at 1.2 million and some change. Now let's keep moving forward. I'm gonna go ahead and run this cell and then I explain what's happening. Here we're identifying those stronger connections by applying the frequency rule. The two customers should have placed orders together multiple times, like we just discussed, at least five times. Right here. All right, there we go. So we have about 9,000 strong connections. Now that we have the nodes and edges defined, let's apply a well-known community detection algorithm called Luvian, right here. Okay. This will help us construct a community graph. 
Now we're ready to construct the graph. Here's a Python function that I've written to generate a random color so that we can distinguish between different communities on the graph and then visualize the nodes and edges. After this cell runs, we'll have total number of nodes, edges, and communities. Let's see what that looks like. Boom, there it is. We can see here that our customer base has been transformed into a rich community graph. Now let's take one of these as an example. This tells you the customer ID and the edge between these two customers tells us how many times they've ordered meals together at the same food truck within a 20 minute window. Pretty amazing, right? Now, if I wanted to export the results so that I can share with my team members, all I have to do is run this cell right here and we will have the list of customers with their community IDs that they belong to. That was great. You just saw how I identified the community of friends dining together. I can export the results, combine them with the affected customer information, and establish our network of customers and their friends. How long did it take? Less than 10 minutes on 1.6 million rows of data. That's the power of having sophisticated apps and dedicated solutions running on my data in Snowflake with Snowflake native apps. To learn more, be sure to check out the resources in the comments.